about two years ago, I was sitting with my oldest daughter, who was about three and a half at the time, and we were doing make and do in art. And we were doing all the usual bits of colouring and gluing, and then we took out some glitter, and we put the glitter on the page. For the next, when we were fairly generous with the glitter, for the next couple of days, everywhere I looked, in the kitchen and on my hands, glitter was appearing. And it made me think about something. And it's an, an unusual way of thinking about things. But it made me think about something. And what a glitter and calf scar have to do with each other. So many times I go on to farm and I try and explain about the way disease is spread. And particularly agents that cause calf scar, whether it be rotavirus, coronavirus or cryptosporidium. Calves can ingest a small amount of this and these get into the intestines, they replicate in the cells and they come out in the millions. So it made me think, have I any way of showing, because we're visual creatures, I certainly am, if we can see how this could be shedding and spreading, <clears throat> we can understand it better. So I came up with the glitter effect. And a small amount of glitter in your finger can represent the small number of these bacteria or viruses, particularly uh, the viruses in the cryptosporidium, that, that parasite, that can, a calf can ingest. But then if you start spreading large amounts, they can shed in millions. I'll use my little tub of glitter when I go on farm, and I'll spread it in areas like the water trough, the feed trough, on the milk, and what it'll do for the farmers, every time, for the next week, they'll say to me, my God, all I could see was that sparkle of that glitter. And you can imagine then, if we have a, ca a calf with scour, when that faeces is hitting water troughs, feed troughs, milk, your hands, that's how the disease is spreading. So look, it's only a fun way of looking at it. You can try it, if you can get a tub of glitter and no one's watching you. Spread it and see what happens. It appears everywhere, and that's how disease spreads in our farm. So we, the, the tighter we have animals in, the poorer we job we do on hygiene, the more opportunities we get. So where do these calf scars even come from? We'll talk about that in the whiteboard. They can be small amounts like my finger of glitter in a calf's dung, or a cow's dung. And that can spread to the first calf, second calf, and it multiplies. And we don't see it, that's the problem. And the glitter is just a way of showing us and making us think about that spread.